well as you can see. Hello everybody and good morning. Good morning, good morning. Well, Tiffany, whoa, it's early for me. Anyways, Tiffany is off to school. Like, she's she had to go last week for one day, but today marks like the official start date for her. So it's gonna be a lot of me and little man in the mornings um, cause she's got her schooling and she's got her internships. So a few days a week, it's just gonna be me and little man in the morning and Tiffany won't get home till later. So this morning, Typically, little man is down for a nap at this time, and I take a nap at the same time, but I've got some stuff to do today. So we are testing out uh, a nap time in the crib, and it's not going very well. He's not fuss, he's not crying, but he's not sleeping. He's just laying there, looking around, he's grunting a little bit, but uh, yeah. Sometimes I'll go in there and check on him and he'll just look at me and I'll go. He'll smile. So I'm really tempted to pick him up and cuddle with him, but I really wanna try and get him down for a nap. So um, I'm using our other monitor in there, which I need to find an actual place for cause it needs to be plugged in. So right now I've got it plugged in and it's like stretched across half the room to be up. But, um, let me show you the monitor right now. So he's just sitting there, kicking his legs, grunting. He's not mad. He's just like, what's going on? So, you know, eventually we're gonna have to transition him to his crib. So I thought that we would just start testing it out little by little. Um, I'm definitely not ready for him to leave our room yet, but like I said, it's gonna, it's gonna happen at some point. So that is the task for this morning. And while he's doing that, I have to do a rules meeting for my volleyball team because, um, it's required for all of the coaches to, to do like a rules refresher and then we get a little quiz. So as long as he's being good, I can do the rules meeting. Um, if he starts fussing, obviously I'll have to postpone that for later. So, yeah. Well, as you can see, he successfully uh, put himself down. Prim. I'm filming here. Prim. I'm filming here. Anyways, he successfully put himself down, <laughs> and this mom is taking it a little hard. Probably something really silly to be crying about, but it's just another milestone. So, <sighs> yep, I'm just gonna sit here and sob for a while, but I wanted to share with you guys that he did it. <laughs> He's sleeping in his crib. We'll see how long it lasts. Well, we got about a half an hour nap in, didn't we, bud? Didn't we, buddy? Yeah. Got about 30 minutes in. And I cried that whole time. Oh, you are so sweet. You are so sweet, bud. Oh, yes. I love it when you're my smiley boy in the morning. I love it when you're my smiley boy. Oh, that was the hardest 30 minutes of my life so far. Huh. Yes, you're so sweet. You're so sweet, bud. Let me in. 
And guys, I just gotta laugh at this cat. Look at her. She thinks this portable bed is hers. Rue Bear, what are you doing in Harrison's bed? Huh? What are you doing? She says, Mom, I'm taking a nap. Can't you see? Well, I'm trying, but all these noises are distracting me. Rue Bear. Rosie. Do you like that bed? Huh? You're such a sweet kitty. I gotta say, you look a little cross-eyed the angle that you're looking at right now. There you go. Oh, what a big yawn. What a big yawn that was. I think I'm permanently going to be talking baby talk for the rest of my life. To the cats, to Harrison, and to adults. We just got home. I did. Harrison did his thing. Rue Bear got out. Yeah, she she's pretty there. much taking that over. Yeah. So what's going on? How was your TB test? Uh, it is negative. I do not oh, have tuberculosis. On. Awesome. That's really Which good. Which is good. Yeah. I was sweating it though. Were you? Yeah. You were nervous? No, I wasn't nervous. Hi, How was school? It was good. Yeah? Yeah. Long drive, though. Not a lot of accidents today, but sometimes I just don't understand why people ride in the left lane uh -huh. when they are going to go 60. I don't know either. Hi. That's crazy to me. Hi. Oh my gosh, I missed him so much. I can't stop looking at you. I'm so hungry, but I can't stop looking at your beautiful he face. He was so good today. He was? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He slept in his crib today for a nap time. What? Yes. I put him down in the crib for nap time today. What? He only slept for about 30 minutes. Yes. I sobbed. I filmed it, but I sobbed. Our eight-week-old son slept in his crib for the first time, and I missed it. Yes. Hi. Hi. Look at his outfit. I was outfit. really sad because he was sleeping on his own. Yeah. Yeah. Like, all of those milestones I've sobbed over. Well, notably, he like, shouldn't really have a lot of these milestones that he's already having you know so it's kind of well, weird even like the small ones like the first time you fed him a bottle i sobbed i silently sobbed on the couch behind you you didn't even see me i did why because are because you all he, right yeah because he didn't need me and i wanted him to need me <laughs> he needs you he needs you, honey. We need you. We well, all need you. I cried too when we brought him into the bedroom for the first time because he wasn't an arm's reach away. I gotta stop crying. No, you don't. It's beautiful. You keep crying. I'm gonna I hug you though. I love him so much. I know. I know that you're really hungry for lunch, but I have one more thing to tell you. Okay. I did the cat letter for you today. I know it was your turn, but I did it. Why? Because he was down for a nap and I had time and I, to, tomorrow's garbage day. I wanted to get it done. So I did it for you. <laughs> Happy birthday, too. <laughs> Happy belated birthday. Happy <laughs> <laughs> birthday. Boop, boop, doo, boop, boop, boop. I missed you. I did. I missed you. Yeah, boop, boop, be doo, boo. I missed you. Toot, toot. I missed you. I did. Boop, 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 be doo, boo. <laughs> boop, boop, be doo, boo. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. Oh, getting the little chunkies coming up. It's okay. Ew. Ew. Let me get those chunkies. Just a minute. No. Just, just no. Wait. wait. No. You don't even know no. what I'm gonna ask. You don't. You don't even know what I'm gonna ask. No. But listen. No. You, okay. You don't know what I'm asking. No. Babe. What? 
We have an outlet. No. Right? We have monitors. Mm -hmm. No. The answer is still no. <sighs> He's not sleeping in this crib overnight. He's sleeping in our room. Harrison, where do you want to sleep? Where do you want to sleep, says, my bud? I want to sleep right next to Mama. Where do you want to sleep? I want to sleep in your room, Mama. You do? Mm -hmm. I don't know, Carrie. When is it customary? Because you're never going to want him to sleep in there. <laughs> I know, and before we had him, I said, he's going to his crib soon. Like, right, you yeah. did. I'm too attached to this little boy. What if he sleeps better in there, though? He sleeps well in the in the bedroom with us. Don't you, bud? You sleep really good. All right. I'm not ready. That, that's I'm not gonna I'm not I'm not gonna make you. Thank you. I just it's out there, you know. Maybe he'll he'll sleep better in there. <laughs> Stop staring at me Small like that. Steps. Stop staring at me. I'm not trying to tell you where to sleep. I'm just asking a question. I'm just asking a question. Tika, tika, tika. Small steps. We'll start with small naps, work to long naps, and then maybe overnight. Okay. So how was volleyball? It was good. It was good? It was not as hot in the gym, thank goodness. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Um. yesterday and the day before. So, <laughs> your mom came over, yeah. and he kind of fell asleep, like, when she got here, yeah. and he tried to, or she put him in his crib. Uh -huh. I think he lasted about five minutes. That's it? Yeah. Well, he didn't last very long earlier today, either. Only about 30. So. I always feel like, because, you know, she came, oops, because she came over because I was doing my paper, yeah. and I'm trying to keep it on you while I turn this big overhead light on. Because I noticed that the filming isn't all that great. So just bear with me for a second, y'all. Anyway, you were saying, yes, we do like to keep it dark. Except okay. when we're filming. Yeah. I don't really want to say dark, but... I mean, we just don't use a lot of lights. Lights no. are a waste of energy. Waste of money. You know, but seeing is also good. Yes. Seeing is believing. <laughs> and believing is seeing. Exactly. Isn't that from something? I don't... I think it's from a Tim Allen movie. A Tim Allen movie. And believing is seeing. The Santa Claus. I was just going to say... It's one of those. Santa Hi, baby! Mm. Hi, sweetie Pete. Come here. So I have something to tell you. Okay, what is it? And to tell the campers. Um, because they... Remember... Well, you know how, like, sometimes I get, like, the feeling that my grandma's hanging out? Yeah. And, like, these weird kind of things happen, and mm -hmm. she knew we were going to get pregnant on the first try. Yeah. All that kind of stuff. So, today, I... What are you doing? Come over. Oh. Okay. So, you can tell him. I just thought you were going to have to feed him, so... Probably a few. Okay, well, let's get you in here, then. You're going to have to scoot over some. Oh, there's a, a controller. Okay. So, today, I was driving home. And I took a quick gander up at the clouds. Uh-huh. And I just felt like she was there. I don't know. Okay. And all of a sudden, I got goosebumps all up and down my arms. Mm hmm And the car smelled like this perfume called Wind Song. Okay. And I was like... And I just turned, and I just... I could almost see my grandma, like, sitting on the front seat of the car. Uh-huh. It's so weird. Like, I know a lot of these are, you get an idea in your head, and you just kind of go with it. Are you listening to me talk about your great Grammy? Yeah. Are you? you get this, like, idea of things. Um, but it's what I needed at the time. So I'm glad, like, I'm, I had this, like, open mind to, mm -hmm. you know, to accept those things. Speaking of, speaking of smelling things in the car today, when I got into the car, it smelled Hi. like a bad fart. So, does anything happen in there? <laughs> Maybe you don't like the smell of wind song? Maybe Mama doesn't like the smell of wind song. Does it smell, yeah. does it smell like breaking it. wind? Boop. Boop. Hi, buddy. <laughs> He's so cute. You Come here, so Rosie. Come here, Rosie. Guess what, buddy? I got you more stickers today when I went to get my TB test read. More stickers? I did. You're going to love them. I'm excited he is. You're going to love them. 
Oh. Yeah, I told uh, Grandma Wilson that we got stickers, and she was like, oh, so he can put them all over the wall? And I said, mm, yep, I guess so. Yep. But hopefully we'll teach him not to put them on the wall. Oh, if he does, though, there's a good hack on getting them off. You use a blow dryer on hot. Yes. Yeah. And it warms it up, and you can peel it right off. I made the mistake one time of using, like, one of those um, shrink wrap guns. Uh, we used to have them at work. Because I wanted to get all these, like, really little stickers off the wall. Uh huh. So I tried to use that, and it literally peeled the paint. Ooh, yeah, yeah it's not good. Yeah, so blow dryer, definitely. Not, <laughs> not shrink wrap gun like we used to use at the old days of the video store. I will tell you that. How often are you supposed to trim that little guy's nails? Because he keeps getting himself, and you are trimming him like... I feel like I'm doing it, like, I, twice a week. You are. But I don't want to cut them too short because I don't want to, you know, clip his skin. How often do you guys do so. it? I know a lot of you are parents out there. You know, it's obviously working really well when he's sleeping, but we're finding out that they are growing pretty quickly. So those vitamins I'm taking. Well, yesterday when we were taking a nap, he was laying on me and he had his hand right up in here in my neck. Uh -huh. So whenever he would move, I'd be like, oh gosh, okay, okay. Yeah. Because he moves his fingers. You want to sit over here? I know that noise is scaring you. Hop up there. Grandma Wilson's outside trimming our, our hedges. Yes. And our, our bushes. Um, so that's that noise. But anyway, how often do you guys do that? Maybe you could do hashtag nails down below. Ooh, so we could find it. That's a really good hashtag. Yeah. yeah. Uh, also, I have been, I don't know if you've been doing this, but I wanted to put something out there to y'all. Um... Harrison's Corner Cafe. Remember how we were talking about getting some black and white like prints and stuff like that? Well, Carrie and I kind of sort of haphazardly decided that it would probably be better to do like posters or or I'm going to put something out there to you guys which will coincide with um our next uh PO box opening, which is going to be like sometime at the beginning of October. Uh if you have any like black and white photography in your area and you want to send us one like in the form of a postcard that could be awesome yeah, a postcard. like like a postcard like landscapes um it, it's weird to directly like ask for something but everyone always asks like oh do you guys need anything do you guys need anything and we never answer you know like because that's just it's hard but like this is something that would be kind of cool because we know that you guys, you know, a, a good number of you really like to send us stuff some and get stuff, but it's, you know, it's mm -hmm. expensive. Yeah. So if you are familiar with photography or your cell phone, if you have a camera and you take a photo, or if you happen to go into a store and you see like some sort of black and white uh, picture, we would really prefer black and white photos for now. Um, in a couple of months, we might ask again for some with a little bit of color, or if you know how to enhance a black and white photo and add a splash of color, mm -hmm. you know, like, that would be cool. But for right now, predominantly, like, black and white, and we thought that would be really be cool to put over there. Because I found some really cool stuff, but, like, for that corner, we're not going to keep it up over there. It's not going to stay up. They're no. just going to, you know, and it would be cool to have something uniform. Mm -hmm. So four by six photos that would fit right over there. All in a row, we could kind of make it look neat. Use some double-sided oh. sticky tape, and it would be there for him while he's eating. Yeah. And then once he gets done, take the blow dryer, get it off the wall so mm -hmm. we don't rip the tape. And that's better than us buying, like, posters and stuff like that. That we might only be able to put like two posters over there because of the size of the wall. Right. So if you're down for it, please send them. Um, I guess they really wouldn't coincide with the next P.O. Box opening because it's just a postcard. Right. So we'd probably open that just yeah, on the blog. We would see it. Yeah, we'd see it right away. Postcards are typically sent in envelopes. Yeah, so, and we'll get back to you with that date for the uh, post office opening since you guys have been asking. Um, but yeah, I think that'd be pretty cool because... Um, I don't know, like, it'd be neat to see, like, what other people see, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah. not just people who had, like, were discovered by someone else. Right, buddy? Are you excited about tomorrow? Uh, I am very excited about tomorrow. You got a lot Probably. going on tomorrow. I do. 
probably gonna be our best um, Friday Night Live that we've ever done. Like it's definitely one that people will not want to miss because just of all the stuff that we're gonna have. Like it's gonna be cool and we've been working our butts off on the trivia and stuff. Right. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty excited. I'll just wait because I'm gonna end up focusing on what I need to write and I'm not gonna write it correctly. Okay. So yeah, but I am pretty excited. So, whew, I don't know, are you? Uh, yeah, I guess so. I just hope that you're able to be in it too. I mean, obviously it's up to little man whether he decides to let you be in it or not. But right, that's why I'm like iffy with it because I don't know if I'm even gonna be able right. to be there. It won't be that hard though. Like I don't wanna give anything away, but it mm -hmm. would be easier if two people were there. Yeah. It's still gonna be fun and you'll still be able to toss out your comments from the peanut gallery and stuff like that. Right. And I'm getting really excited about the meet and greet. Are you? Yeah. That's coming up. It'll be here soon. Yeah, very soon. Two months. Well, yeah. wait. Yeah, two months. Mm -hmm. So it'll be on the, was it the 17th? Yes. So two months. I should put meet and greet two months so that people keep seeing it. Oh, well, that's a good marker. Well, red doesn't really show up well on black anyways, uh, in my opinion. <sighs> why, did, why did they give us a red one then? Oh, probably for other color chalkboards. A lot of people keep asking where we get these things. This thing is li literally just on Amazon, which okay is clearly my new word again for today, literally instead of actually. Mm. But it's by Versa Chalk. Yes. I think it's a 20 by 24. It sticks to the wall, it peels. We made the mistake of getting the tiny uh, markers the first time. Yeah. And they, I think the white one gave out in like, I don't know, two months or so. Mm -hmm. So don't make the same mistake that we did. No, get the, get the fat markers. Get, get the fatties. The fatties. Oh, Stop I need it. a bag for tomorrow. Oh. Tomorrow is my orientation. Okay. And I need your help. All right. Well, what bag do you need? Well, I need like a handle bag. Okay. Because I can't take my big bag. Do you want to use like a like a one tote from our wedding, or do you want to use a Tiffin carry tote? I've never or? used a Tiffin carry tote. Okay. Like we don't really advertise those that much. I can get one. Else. I think I'd like to. Is it weird to carry a tote? I don't know how many we have left, but yeah, we can. No, it's not weird. Is it? Okay, let's go check. Okay. Prim, did you manage to get covered up under there? And you too, little Katniss. She's been sleeping at the end of the bed lately. <laughs> you guys, we aren't joking when we tell you we can't keep shirts. That's the biggest box that we can keep in the house. So anything extra that we have of that, mm -hmm. we don't even know what to do with the shirts. Yeah. Yay, Speaking look at it. We've got to get that shirt order in. And, uh... I love it. Catch you on the flippity. Oh, it doesn't even say Tiff and Carrie, does it? Oh, it does in the finger. Yeah. In the pinky. Okay, I could totally use that. Does it look like a gun, though? Like, going into the setting that I'm going into? Mm, well, it's a finger gun. Hmm. You think it'll be okay? Well, if you don't want to use this one, we've got some left over from our wedding. I love those ones. I'll just use, uh, I'll use that one. I don't think it looks... I don't think it looks bad. No. I guess you guys could let me know what you think anyway. Yeah. Um, hashtag bag. Hashtag bag. Hashtag, what are you doing? You getting some, oh, some upper body. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I was going to say about Katniss. Normally Katniss will sleep on my side underneath the blanket up there by my side of the bed. But I don't think lately I've been letting her in because I've been so, like, warm. Oh. So she's been going to the end of the bed. Oh. And I feel really bad about it. Um... Did you unfold this blanket for me last night? Uh, no, you did. You insisted that you unfold it yourself also. Oh, I don't remember You don't that. remember. I woke up with it and I'm like, I don't <clears throat> remember unfolding it. You time. woke up and I had no blankets, nothing on me. I was sweating. It was so hot. Yeah. And you woke up going, oh God, it's so cold in here. <laughs> it is. Uh, it's cold. No, it was not. She had all these blankets here. Plus this big, thick blanket, fleece. this thick fleece, reminds me, we need to, I need to write this down. What? We need a new fleece. I got to get no, rid of that no. other fleece. We do not. We do. It's we time to get rid of. We have that one. We have the Star Wars one. We have that camouflage. The camouflage one's got to go. We have so many fleece blankets. We do not need any more. The camouflage one's got to go. 
No, it doesn't. It's it's, it's ragged, man. It works. It doesn't matter that it works. It's ragged. It's ragged. We do not need another blanket. The cats threw up on it. I had to clean it up the other day. That's why I don't want to use it anymore. <laughs> Seriously? Someone threw up on it. it. had cat food on it. And it wasn't me. Was it you? Yeah, it was me. Okay, it was the cat. I'm like the Belchers eating cat food. <sighs> they really did like it. They did. And here's the outfit of the day. Poor little buddy. He just burped and scared himself. So bad that he S sobbed. Sobbed. He was scream sobbing. Mm -hmm. Scrabbing. I feel so bad for him. Yeah. Did he it have was, a fart that did the same thing? He, like, kept going, making his noises until he farted, like, three times, and then oh. he felt better. But okay. he's really tired. Yeah, he is. I can tell. He always, like, buries his face, which I, I, I think he's rubbing oh. his eyes with it, because he can't, like, rub his eyes yet, really, with his hands. He does sometimes, oh. but, yeah, I think you're right. So, with that, we are going to call it a night. Yes. We're going to soothe our little man. Mm -hmm. That is a new noise. Yeah, we'll have to fix that. They fixed the... Uh... It's the just the vent. It's not yeah. open all the way. So it's flapping in the wind. Oh, okay then. Well, alright guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us today. And thank you for sharing us with your friends. And we'll catch you on the flippity. Follow us on all of our social media pages, especially the tweeters. <laughs> <laughs>